Let's go to Kool-Aid Powder. The Steelers have the number 17 pick if the draft were to happen today. Do you see Kenny Pickett falling there? I do not see Kenny Pickett falling to pick number 17. I understand that he was, I believe, the number 16 player in Todd McShay's big board. If you haven't watched that video yet, please go ahead and check it out on our Chat Sports YouTube channel. But uh, I, I could see him being the number one, number one quarterback taken in this year's draft, and I personally think that that's going to be somewhere in the top 10. Let's go to the truth. Should the Steelers fire Keith Butler after the Ravens game? I say yes. The only reason why I'm going to say notifying anybody from Pittsburgh, they haven't had a losing season in 15 years. But Jeremy, who's weighing in, says that's the D.C. of Pittsburgh. But I, I personally don't think that you should. The defense has not been the issue. It's been the offense. I mean, think about it. Big Ben threw the ball 46 times, and he had, what, 220 passing yards this past week. The defense is not the issue in Pittsburgh. Let's go to Evan Henders. Do you think T.J. Watt will break the sack record? I don't know if he's going to break it, but he's going to get pretty damn close. I mean, he needs literally one to tie, two to break it. I, I would say... Yes, but also I know that not that they're not going to be playing hard. The Steelers and Ravens game, that does actually have some meaning. So if Pittsburgh wins, that's great. You know what? Let's get ballsy. Let's say TJ Watt is going to go ahead and he's going to break the record. Let's go to Evan Henders. I have a feeling Aaron Rodgers comes to Pittsburgh. Devontae Adams comes with him, wins the Super Bowl with the Steelers. Well, Evan, I don't know you personally, but I'm going to take a guess that you're a Steelers fan. I know there's a lot of reports out there that Mike Tomlin wants to work with a veteran quarterback. If you can get Aaron Rodgers, if Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams head on over to Pittsburgh, that is a, absolutely a Super Bowl caliber team. I just don't see Devontae going to Pittsburgh because the Steelers have never showed me that they're willing to go out and get that big-name wide receiver. They have a lot of confidence in their ability to draft. I mean, think about it. They've let a lot of really good receivers go. So Antonio Holmes, Antonio Brown, you can say what you want. But, yeah, A.B., I mean, a lot of really talented guys go, and I can see that eventually happening with guys like Juju Smith-Schuster, Chase Claypool, Deonta Johnson. They can find talent in the draft. We will have plenty of NFL free agency coverage for you guys, so subscribe right now. Free videos every single day on everything you could possibly want on the NFL. From the past master, could Carolina or Pitt be dark horses for Russell Wilson? Yeah, I think so. Um, Steelers in a franchise QB, and let's be real here, Sam Darnold sucks. So I think that the Panthers should be heavily involved in trying to find a way to get an upgraded quarterback. Because if you roll back with Darnold next year, it's just not going to work, guys. I'm sorry. Ah, Boris Diaw. Kind of Boris Diaw is watching here. Aaron Rodgers to the Steelers. Some very obvious flirting between Rodgers and Pittsburgh kind of throughout the season, which is a bit weird. You're going to run into the same issue. Are you really going to lose your MVP quarterback when you make a deep playoff run? Probably is what it sounds like. I think Pittsburgh makes a lot of sense for Rodgers. Go all in. Keep trying to win football games. Maybe six round in Green Bay, but I kind of doubt it in the end. So what do you think? Will Aaron Rodgers be traded, whether it's to Pittsburgh or Denver or the Raiders or wherever? Will he be traded? Y for yes, N for no. From Blazy. Should the Titans be favorites to win the AS to get the number one seed? It's a good question because the hate for the Titans is real. Nobody believes in them. Everyone's like, the Chiefs are going to do it. The Bengals, not the Bengals, the Bills are going to win. The Titans, even though they are probably going to get Derrick Henry back, there is some very real, we don't believe in the number one seed. So, do you believe in Tennessee or not? Who is the best team in the AFC right now? You feel good one way or the other? You know what you should do? Bet on it. Head over to our sportsbook partner, BetUS, chatsports.com, slash bet, promo code NFL, to get yourself a 125% deposit bonus. You can bet on who's going to win the AFC, the Titans, the, the favorites to be the number one seed, which they should secure when win win uh, this week, plus 450. They're going to get the buy. They're guaranteed to get to be one of the final four teams. That's a bit unusual for the number one seed to be that low. The Chiefs, plus 200. The Bills, plus 200. The Bengals, AFC North champions, not even on here. The disrespect. The Colts are ahead of them. 
which I don't buy, by the way. Let's go to the past master here, Super Chat time. What does the future hold for Juju? Juju Smith-Schuster is a receiver that I like. I do think he's a little bit overhyped after his 2019 season where he had, it was like, what, like 111 catches next to Antonio Brown. He's a good receiver. I personally wouldn't make him my number one receiver on my offense. He could be a solid two type of dude. There's going to be teams that are interested in him. There's going to be teams that say, okay, he's under 26 years old. He's got some talent. He's had some good production. It's just the future for him. I would say he's going to, oh, man, I think he's got what? Maybe, maybe he gets another shot in Pittsburgh, but maybe another team just throws the absolute bag at him. What does help out Juju, Chris Godwin just suffered a major injury. Uh, Devontae Adams could get franchise tagged, and then Michael Gallup just suffered a major injury. So there's a lot of really good receivers that just went down about to hit the free agent market. All right, y'all, who should get the NFL MVP this season? I mean, I think it's Tom Brady, which is pretty, pretty mind-blowing, the fact that that man is 44 years old. And I really, truly believe he's about to win the NFL MVP. Could it be Josh Allen, Dak Prescott, Joe Burrow might get a vote, Aaron Rodgers could win it again. Let me know, y'all, down in the comments who should get the NFL MVP. From Shadow, do you expect any upsets in the postseason? This year has been a massive, massive parody-based season. So, yeah, I think so. Now, I want to see what the situation looks like matchup-wise before I make my predictions, but I would be surprised if there weren't any upsets this year. Now here's a pretty uh, random question. Will Antonio Brown ever play again? Why for yes and for no? As I am making this video, he is still technically a member of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now for those of you that don't know, he literally ran off the field after the Jets game, or not even after the Jets game, during the Jets game, took off most of his clothes, said peace out, dropped an album, was courtside at an NBA game, and is still not with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I'm going to go ahead and say no. I don't think he's ever going to play again, though the NFL showed me this. If a player is really good and teams think that they can help you win, you probably have a shot. Why for yes and for no will AB ever play again? From Tyler Dow, does Chase or Mac Jones win Offensive Rookie of the Year? Mac Jones has been great. It's got to be Jamar Chase. It, don't laugh, Jack. You know I'm right. He Even super Mac Jones fan, producer Jack agrees, it's Jamar Chase. His production, it's obscene. Jamar Chase, by the way, was the correct pick for the Bengals. RIP the Panay Sewell pick, who also has been great for the Lions, just so we're clear. But it's got to be Jamar Chase. Let's go to James T., who are the top teams to sign Devontae Adams this offseason? Well, I did see a report out there that apparently Green Bay is going to try to franchise tag Adams. Now, you can still do a tag and trade type of scenario. However, if he does hit the free agent market, I mean, I personally think the top team out there is the Raiders if they keep Derek Carr. Devontae Adams himself has said it would be a dream come true to play with D.C. again. There's going to be plenty of teams. And what I say the top teams – Every single NFL team, if Devontae Adams hits the open market, will be interested in him. He's the top wide receiver in the NFL. Now, the Ravens and Steelers, at one point, I could have made an argument, might have been the best teams in the AFC, but since uh, a few teams have started losing, Big Ben decided to get old on me. That's no longer the case. Now, the question I have for all y'all is, who's the best team in the AFC? Is it the Chiefs? Is it the Titans? Now that they got back Derrick Henry. Buffalo Bills? New England Patriots, Cincinnati Bengals, they just beat the Kansas City Chiefs 34-31. Maybe you think it's the Colts, Raiders, Chargers, plenty of opportunities here, plenty of teams to think about. Who is the best team in the AFC? Steven Crozio, which Week 18 primetime game shouldn't be primetime? The only one that should be is Raiders-Chargers. That one should be a primetime game. Chiefs-Broncos, Cowboys-Eagles... I mean, I get why they did it to keep some semblance of balance, but I don't know if you needed those games in prime time. Those both could kind of end up being a bit of a snooze fest in the end. Now, if I don't get to your question, don't blame me. Blame Jeremy. Hit him up on Twitter at J.I. Beadling. Or you can always hit me up on Instagram. I'm at MitchellRens365. Please don't be afraid to slide in my DMs. Always uh, not afraid to answer your questions. Beast Mode 11, who do you believe is the NFL's? Best interior defensive lineman. I mean, this is Aaron Donald, and I don't even know if it's all that close. Aaron Donald, if you're telling me right now I could have any player on defense 
right now, it's Aaron Donald. He's the best defensive player in the league. His ability to create pressures, he's had, what, 51 straight games where he's had multiple QB pressures. I mean, it's just the dude's insane. He's a monster.